Dear all, in this video, I'm going to discuss about uh, import employee data. Again, inside this feature, I'm going to discuss about one of the important thing is uh, basic import. Okay, so I'm going to discuss two scenarios on this basic import. So before moving to the actual topics, if someone would like to watch some of the other videos so you can watch it on my youtube channel and also if someone would like to learn time management related clock in and clock out and time of configuration and other important features so you can opt for in my youtube membership channel now so let's back to the two scenarios so one is so when you select the uh, basic import so i'm not sure how many people are observed here we have the small link called more options okay so this is available only for the basic import in case if you select any of other uh, a portlet or entity or a background element so we are not able to see that okay so once you select the basic import just click on this option so you could able to see some of the other uh, uh, options based on the scenarios so you can use it okay so in case if you want to send a welcome mail okay when you import the employee data system once you click on this okay once you import the user uh, basic data okay so basic or udo for uh, basic information okay all three are the same there is no difference between the uh, data so only the terminology it will differs okay and again if you click on here compensation information we can see the compensation okay so i'm not going to discuss about the torrent module so one of the important uh, no, it, it could be an interview question okay so in case if someone asks you that how you want or how you will activate the permanently purged employee into again active okay so in that scenario so once you click on this uh, small icon more option so here we have the option called reactivate purged users okay so even though if it is permanently purged okay so put the data into the udf file just import it again they will become as an active in the data okay or in the instance and then again you can import the data as per your requirement okay so not only for that if you want to do any of the uh, other scenarios also here we have the automatic manager transfer okay so just you can enhance it okay so just i'm recapping so in case you would like to import the permanently purged employee into the active once again or you want to bring it back to the instance then you can use the reactivate purged users okay next so customer says that uh, for some of the employees uh, no uh, i can give the scenario like if you understand the scenario the future is very simple but moreover you need to understand the scenario why okay so we need to disable this from by default everybody okay so in case someone have the access for the import employee data by default they will get the access for the basic import as well okay so now i can restrict this basic import because for example if talent module implemented then we can give the options to the basic import assume that employee central module is implemented so once the employee central module is implemented as we know uh, all the data it will be replicated from the ec2 uh, udf for basic or general basic information employee data okay so in that scenario so this one should be restricted hardly for the few uh, hrs based on the requirement where they can just go to the uh, employee udf file and they can do some modification they can import it otherwise this should not be applicable for uh, those who have the import employee data option okay so if you give this option what happens even though if your mbc is implemented data you replicate it from ec to uh, udf or a basic information profile then what happens through the back end there is a possibility they can keep on change the data and they can do whatever they want it okay so to avoid all those uh, uh, issues or uh, should make it sure that they should follow the standard process okay so in that scenario we need to disable this to want to disable this and you need to give the only for the respective uh, permissions roles or groups based on your requirement we can do that okay so for that what you need to do so just come to the the manage apply central setting in the instance so go to little bit bottom okay here you'll be having something called okay if you see under others here we have the enable control of the basic user input in role based permission it means that once you activate this okay this is automatically okay it will disappear from the basic import option okay it is successful so now what i will do i will just refresh this one 
now if you click on select entity we cannot see the basic import okay so even though i have the access for the import employee data but i don't have the access for the basic import okay so as an a like based on the requirement you want to give only specific group then you can go to the any of the respective rules okay so let me refresh the my standard uh, rule so then i will go and activate only for this rule okay so for all other source so those are all belongs to even though they have the uh, import option then they should not have the access I just go to administrative permissions so just click on the import employee setting so here we have the basic user import okay so once you enable it this will be activated inside the employee central import setting okay so just activate this one click on done save changes and let me refresh it okay now i got it once again the basic import okay so this is how normally works and also you understand in interview someone will ask you that that's what you see in any of the success factor okay the futures are simple so somebody they said that okay you do direct but you need to understand why we need to do that okay what is the uh, logic behind that okay so if you give these steps anyone can do it but when you're standing in front of the customer if you ask that what is the scenario how we can control the system then you should be able to answer it okay so thanks for watching